transmission will zoom, zoom. We'll try to push the clutch, keep the gas pedal down. See the rear wheels spinning around. Another gear, another squeal. Starting to drift, power slide, I feel. Radio belts wrapped around our minds. An endless asphalt to keep the law behind. Now, the king of the atom. The repair is to ping the clasp. What we do is create a pin in the clasp, and when it closes the pin, then again strike the lock button so it can't open up. All of our latches wouldn't be complete unless we get inside your Miata and help you adjust the latches. So we're going to go through the technique of how to adjust the latches in your Mazda Miata. So let's, let's get into a car and adjust the latches. You can see the driver's latch on the left side of the car on the driver's side. And this latch still has a good function. It, it won't open up. You have to release the button to open it up. So what we're going to do is remove the latches. Now there may be a couple issues when you go to remove the latches on the car. The one, one problem is that you may have a, a strip screw. You can see somebody's worked this screw pretty hard and it's stripped. So a Phillips screwdriver won't take that screw out anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to slot that screw to be able to take it out with a, a flathead screwdriver. The other screw, and on the hard tops especially, is actually locked tight and into place. And to remove that screw, we're going to use a soldering iron to warm up the screw to release the Loctite. The key to releasing Loctite is heat. The latch on the passenger side is one of those bad latches. It won't, it won't, it's floppy. So it needs that posi latch fix. So we need to put the posi latch fix on this one. That's what we're talking about. And that's that that uh, kit we're going to sell on eBay with video instructions and we'll talk about that later after this instructional video. So we're going to get both latches off. You can see that both latches actually need their latch cap. That's why we have to remove them. The latch cap, the part, the plastic part that is actually enters the catch is actually broken on both the latches and that's a common problem. Let's get the latches off now and then we'll put on the latch caps Put them back on the car, and then adjust the adjust the uh, latches on the on the soft top with the new latch caps. Once we're in the car and we've got our tools on our lap and we're ready to go, the first step what we're going to do is we're going to loosen up the catches on both sides. By loosening up the catches, we'll allow the catches to actually center themselves. Now we're going to take a look. There's a, actually a lock here on this. This is a turnbuckle. It's like your mom's clothesline. If you unscrew it, it gets longer. If you screw it tighter, it gets shorter. So you unscrewing it opens it up. Let's take a look and see how it works. So if I unscrew it, it's going to get longer. It's starting to get longer, longer, longer. That would be looser, looser, looser on the latch, on the adjustment. Shorten it up, turning it in, shortens it up. We're going to start with the thread not protruding back in there. We're going to start right there. Now when you close it, you have to have this centered with the, the lock. That lock has to come over it, so you have to have the flats. Once you got that done, then I'm going to close this one. I'm going to feel where it is. Close it. Now I'm going to tighten up the catches. So I'm going to tighten the catches. Now the important thing is right here on this edge, right in here, that's where the wind leak is. So if, if it closes and there's no gap, I can see a gap when it's open, but if it closes and there's no gap, it doesn't have to be super tight. It has to just latch and close and seal this gap right in through here. Once we've got that done, we can tighten up and make sure the visors are, screws are tight. So if we've got a droopy visor, we're going to use that soft hammer. We're going to take the, the visor, the droopy visor, and we're going to actually strike the visor right here. And knock it back into place. 
it actually slides down. That's why they start to they come down. You have to use a soft hammer, hammer, a rubber mallet, and then knock it into place. Hey, I think that's going to take care of us. Now that we have learned all about Miata convertible latches, catches, and strikers, it's time to fix those floppy latches. Let me, the king of Miatas, introduce you to the Posi Latch Fix with video instructions in our eBay store, Miata Mecca. The first thing you want to do is bring eBay up on your computer screen. And in the bar there, you want to type in Posi Latch Fix. And let's go to Posi Latch Fix. You'll see there's two different items here. There's the early set and the later set. We'll look at the early set. There we go. There's the early set. That's the Posi Latch Fix 90 through 02. Let's scroll down and take a look. As we scroll down, watch the how-to video instructions and with this listing, and here we go, tech tips and information. Right here on this YouTube.com, Mike's Likes Biz, that's all our videos, and here's the video you're looking for. This is that repair the, and here we go, here's your instructions right here. Looks good. Now. Right up here, here's the price. It's $21.95. Comes with free shipping. Can't beat that. And over here is our store, Miata Mecca. If you click here, you'll be able to see all the categories in our store. We've got about 2,000 items on eBay at this time. So over here are our store categories. Just pick a category. Well, there you can see our store. And that's Miata Mecca. Hey, thanks a lot for taking a look at this stuff. We hope that was helpful for you to find the Posi Latch Fix in our eBay store, Miata Mecca. Now remember to watch the series Miata Mecca on YouTube as it shows how we restore the famous Phoenix Black and Tan. Till next time, keep her out of the weeds and sunny side up. Transmission will zoom, zoom We'll try to push the clutch Keep the gas pedal down See the rear wheels spinning around Another gear, another squeal Starting to drift, power slide I feel Radio belts wrapped around our minds An endless asphalt to keep the law behind